morning traders and this is your Aussie day trade setup South African top 40 so we've starting on the daily I've left the uh, levels in from yesterday so we tag this level again uh, doesn't look like we're going to be tagging the bottom levels I think what we have here is a line in the sand of 51020 and I'll probably be able to adjust it a little bit finer to uh, 5100 dead pretty close yeah. okay so 5100 is definitely a line on the sand at the moment I still am a little bit skeptical so I would still expect another squirt down to come and tag one of these levels uh, we may not get it but uh, I am cautious so at the moment we have an inside bar inside bar uh, remember this uh, this day here the JSC futures wasn't running I think it was Friday. Yeah, it was Friday. So um, we have an inside bar, another inside bar. That is fairly telling at the moment. So in other words, could be a double bottom at the moment. And also, just get this sorted out. There's our trend line. And here is our triangle. Okay, so we've got kind of a, a close outside of the triangle. Uh, not convincing enough for me just yet. I still want to see some kind of um, breakout, pullback, test the breakout, and then run. At the moment, we don't have a, a breakout on the three hour. But what we do have on the hour is a potential breakout it's not quite there just yet so there's my level actually let's come to this fractal level here and you can see we closed above it came back and then we closed above it again so we could argue that this is a potential breakout that's happening but we still have a diagonal trend line so if we look at the hour that's more the trend line that we've got to break out. So I still want to see some kind of a pullback. So if we just tidy this mess up, uh, we want to assume that that is a breakout. And all I'm doing is I'm lining up with this fractal here. Okay. Uh, reason being is that we also have a little bit of interaction here. So let's put a level onto those two and just see what that gives us. Okay, it's kind of a, a zone that we need to worry about. Again, so all this percentage R is sort of grouped to the upside. Uh, stochastics are pretty much in the middle of nowhere. So there's nothing much happening there. But this is very much looking to me anyway like a potential double bottom breakout. Okay, now that basically means... Um, there's my double bottom so you can see the low lower low low higher low so there's diversions double bottom um, and a break above that pretty much gives us an upside target of these previous levels here and if I look to the left more than likely find that that somewhere along the line okay so a little bit short of the actual level okay so what we're looking for is we're looking for a long entry and we're looking for 51090 okay for Five one eight ninety of me. Yeah, five one eight ninety is what we're looking for. So five one eight ninety is the the upside target I'm looking for, and that's pretty much this uh, double bottom. One other thing to bear in mind is if we just take that out the way, and we put a Fibonacci in on this level here. 
we've almost pulled back to 100%. Okay, so the other targets would pretty much be something like that, which in all honesty is exactly what the double bottom target is. Double pop, uh, double, this uh, double bottom target is also in the same area. So that's kind of the way I see it at the moment. If we go to the half hour, um, you can see closing range strategy wouldn't have really worked out. Well, it did work out to the upside and then we broke the downside. So we're still not really getting a direction. So every time we do get a potential, um, it's happened a couple of times already, where we've, the closing range has broken the upside and broken the downside. So normally when it does that, we, we've got a bit of a challenge. Now, we've got a grouping of our oscillators at the moment in the half hour. Now, you could also still see a bit of a pullback. Which would also make sense, because that would basically mean... Either that kind of pullback, or I think that one, but definitely that one's possible. Okay, so in other words, a pullback back to this area here. You can see these tails coming down. A pullback back to five one two seven two, and then we move up. So. I am looking for the long. You now the question is whether we, we're going to go long from this area here. Okay, it's right there. So the big question is whether we're going to break up, come back, test this break and then go long or whether we're going to bounce down, find some support, create a higher low. So there's our lower low and then move to the upside. So that is basically what I'm looking at at the moment. Um, and then Last things, last things, last, this level of 50944 is the line in the sand, okay, or 5100 dead, so somewhere around that area, that's my line in the sand, if we do get a break below that, sort of come and close this gap, then I'd look for the next setup, but at this stage, what I'm looking at is a fairly interesting daily setup inside bar inside bar okay so that's my view of this at the moment i'm looking for a long entry and uh, we're more than likely going to see that today i just want to go to the 12 minutes we did get it towards well, we did rally most of the day if you think about it inside the tail a good 340 points so i'm looking for a breakout above here and then looking for an opportunity to be long again your stops at this stage stop is pretty wide it needs to be below the low of yesterday okay, until we can establish a, a decent pullback okay anyway guys that's it for me today hope it helps and i'll catch you later cheers for now